Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a ranked thought process game. Now, this is going to be the last one for season 11, but this one was an absolute banger. So, it's pretty much going to be how to IGL as Gibraltar. Uh, a lot of people don't see Gibraltar as being an IGL, being the leader, being able to uh, lead your team, you know, be in front of them, make call outs, and uh, be able to capitalize as that. Uh, I beg to differ. This video will honestly show that. Now, if you guys want the raw, good, juicy gameplay, uh, very weird I said it like that. Um, skip 12 minutes in. Uh, 12 minutes is pretty much when we get to our late game buildings. And this is when we start frying. This is when we start doing really good plays. Um, but the, before that is a lot of me talking. We fight a team. Uh, we escape from a, another team. And it's me just leading my team, saying where to go. And I explain kind of why uh, and what's up, what's going on in my mind uh, throughout us rotating to the very end game and how we get to that point. But again, skip 12 minutes in. That's when we start killing teams at the very end, making good call outs, making good plays. And again, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, end game circle. So hope you guys enjoy. And again, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, I really appreciate it, especially on this video. I cannot wait to see you guys in season 12. All right, what is up, everybody? Um, so first off, it's just simply finding the landing zone. Uh, I know I talk about Overlook a lot. Um, but sometimes you don't always want to land at those places and you know, I want to land somewhere outside of something kind of popular where you know you can get a lot of loot. Uh, and that's right next to big mod. Um, if you land right next to big mod, uh, you, you're golden for loot no matter what you do. And you can potentially get a good third party because a lot of teams like to land big mod. Um, and I always talk about this. You always want to land somewhere close to where you can third party. Um, it's really easy, fast KP you can get off of you know right off the rip of the game the match and you can just vibe out the rest of the game until the end game um right here we're playing a very dominant dominant uh trio for world's edge now this is a really op lineup uh and it has nothing to do with gibby and that's the thing about this lineup falcon caustic have been by far the the most op and just most played uh legends for world's edge just because of how many buildings there are you can hold down with like barely any windows really peek through um you can hold down those buildings with caustic and you can get to those buildings really fast with valk just by you know flying up in the air and just going to whatever building you want taking it over with caustic all traps whatever it is um adding gibby to the mix um you're just destined to have perfect rotations perfect fights um and it's just it's just a bully this is a bully squad, honestly. Um, so right here is just all about just looting up. Um, at the very beginning of the game, you guys couldn't hear because I was talking, but I was pretty much going over the previous match. So uh with the previous match, you know, we failed a little bit. Uh we had a different teammate um that had to leave and we got somebody else, but uh, we just talked about it casually. Um, there's no reason to point fingers yelling at people. Uh, just talk about what happened, what everyone could have done, even yourself. And I feel like that helps the momentum going to the next game. And that's what we did at the beginning of this game. Uh, we're talking about what happened last game, um, how both of us could have contributed to each other to help out. And, you know, that's, that's what keeps the positive vibes up. Uh, and that's what helps your team as a whole as well. I am on the alt account. That's why it says YouTube CFLAT24. Um... This account is Diamond. I'm helping Blast Toys currently get to Masters before the end of the season uh, because I played a lot without him uh, during, you know, during the season or this split at least with my main account. My main account is already Masters and it's so hard to help people get to Masters when you're already there. Um, so this is my alt. We're in Diamond Lobbies. Um, so that's why you're wondering why I'm wearing this weird skin or I have no heirloom. Well, this is the gameplay. And this is also gameplay with no heirloom with Bubble Melee. Um, I'll be using melees without the bubble, uh, without the heirloom. Um, so that's another big key factor you guys got to keep in mind in this situation. So I say keep our distance for right now. Uh, I am going to be the shot caller. I am the IGL. So it's just whatever I say kind of goes. Um, if people don't listen. That's very unfortunate. It's when you start to get the diamond, the master's ranks, you want to have that go-to IGL that can make that call and you listen immediately. He's the go-to person to make a call and you go with it. Um, so I just said wait a little bit to push it. Uh, when they start fighting, trading back and forth with uh, deaths, that's when you want to push. Uh, when a lot of them are injured, people are knocked on each side. Got Wraith. 
And now, it, also, what we're doing is trying to feed each other kills as well. Um, I'm making sure they get KP because I, my account's already mastered, so I'm not too worried about getting full KP. I'm just making sure my teammates can get it as well. And I did hear footsteps. That's why I'm playing it really safe because people could be hiding in corners healing. Uh, you won't be able to hear it. Right there, I said share damage with each other. Right here, I just, I bubble. He jumps down, very unfortunate, and I just stay safe. I don't get risky. I don't fall down like he did. I'm making sure I am safe with my bubble, and I have that good head peek. Um, so now it's about getting your teammates up immediately before you get third party. But, you know, the reason why I didn't jump down with my teammate right away, I just felt like it was, uh, it was unnecessary for me to go down as well and help out, uh, and then, you know, lose uh, the high ground against Octane. So that's why I stayed there. That's why I bubbled. Um, and you know, we're right back in the fight. Uh, it's a good thing about, you know, as the Gibby, you know, you want to try to stay up as long as you can to keep as much health as you possibly can. Uh, cause you're that go-to legend that needs to, to be clutch. Um, you know, I barely got hurt in that fight. Um, I played safe and I also made sure I contributed a lot as well. I keep forgetting there's nothing on the backs of these ones. And now we have like plenty of time to loot. Uh, we have all the time in the world. Uh, I call out the wingman because uh, you got to know what your teammates like. Uh, Prolix, he, he's a wingman lord. So that's why I was just pinging that out. And this is when you can vibe out. Like I have 3kp. Um, I think my teammates only have 1 to 2. Uh which is still okay, but we're a Valk team. We have Caustic. We can get KP whenever we really need to, whenever we need to force into buildings. All right, so right there, he just said he has... I just, I just called out, what's the KP? One assist. Uh, normally, you, you play off of who has the most KP. And right here, the reason why I go this way is because we have a team behind us, and I saw a team on the on the bridge right there. So I know if we fight this team behind us, that team from bridge is going to collapse. So the best thing to do is just get out. So right here, I'm just holding down, make sure Prolix can get out safely. Um, as Gibby, you have that arm shield, you have that extra health. Unfortunately, you can't climb that. Um, that's why I kept turning around and shooting him uh, to make sure he could heal. Uh, they couldn't really push as fast as they wanted to. Um, but you have to always be aware of your surroundings. When you're the IGL, you're the leader. You have to know everything, you know. Your teammates can't just be in La La Land, of course. But you have to be more aware than what they are. Just because you're going to be making call-outs. And I made the, the good call-out of we just got to get out, rotate a different direction completely from these two teams. Uh, and just relocate. There's no reason to try to fight it. There's no reason to try to get KP. Because if we have that three-on-three, three, let's say two of us are kind of... One of us is healthy, one's like really low, and someone's knocked. That third party is right there. So you have to just get out. No reason to risk it. Um, and there's no really arguing about, you know, well, we could fight this. Uh, just listen to the person that, you know, that's leading. Uh, I did not want to fight it. Potentially third party. You just got to rotate. Um, so it was a really smart decision because it could have been one of those what if uh, things happening. And, you know, what if we fought that? Well, we probably won't get third party. Um, and of course I'm staying ahead of my teammates at all times, keeping high ground, looking around. They're having a fun time. I don't know. I was so lost because I was focused on what they're talking about. I think because they both jumped down together and pro looks could fly up and, uh, blast toys couldn't, um, right there. He pinged. I was making sure I could see, I couldn't see anybody. And this is a good rotation. Um, whenever World's Edge comes back in rotation, of course, you know, you guys will have a few days after I uh, uh, upload this of uh, World's Edge ranked. Uh, take these gondolas. Uh, just call out. Wait till the next one to come by. Another thing, always make sure what your teammates have. They need a better bag, a better shield, a better helmet. Uh, just always just keep that in mind of what they need. Uh, that's why I ping the other helmet. Uh, but these go gondolas are a perfect rotation. I think that's what they're called, at least. So I made the call out to go ahead and Wait till the next Gondola to take it. Uh, Prolux was a little slow, unfortunately, but he is about so he'll be okay. And I do have the Caustic with me, which is huge. Um, 
Um, right here, we're just vibing. We're literally just talking about uh, Borderlands. Because I said catch a ride when I uh, went on the uh, gondola. Like, I know this isn't the most action-packed uh, experience, of course, uh, with this. Uh, the end game, I promise, is huge. Uh, but you guys know how I like to talk sometimes, explain. And I feel like it's really good to get this IGL, uh, this give, this IGL like give me point of view. Uh, not a lot of people do it. I feel like only sometimes the pros do it whenever they play Gibby, like how sweet, whenever they play Gibby, rarely. Um, you see it from them here and there. But I'm not trying to compare myself to them. I just, I know there's not that many Gibby IGLs, uh, and people don't think Gibby should IGL or lead because he's not a fast character or escape character. And uh, I highly disagree with that. Of course, you have that bubble that always get out. The uh, you always have your ultimate, and also you have your teammates. Like if you have a wraith on your team, uh, in your sticky situation, you got to make that call out immediately for them to do something. Um, perks of being IGL. Uh, so we went at this building. Uh, we found out that the people were in it, so we just kind of chill off a little bit. I kind of want to take this fight, but I was going to sit there and jump in there because again, third party situations can happen immediately. Um, so it's about to stay up, uh, and healthy. Uh, right there, uh, Prolux wants to go in that top area, and I told him to make sure you, this whole backside needs to be checked. Uh, if that whole backside's not checked, we cannot stay here because it'll just rotate from the, uh, launch slot over there. So I make him go over there since he is Valk. Um... Wraith solo, I went ahead and I saw that this building was a huge opportunity to take. Uh, we took it. And having Cossack, you can take buildings. Uh, you can hold them down for a long time. You guys will see that in this video. Um, absolutely banger. So right there, it's always good to have nades, by the way. It's always good to have nades, you know, shield swaps in your buildings that you can't really hold. Um, so perks, another perk of being Gibby is, you know, I can hold those hallways better than my teammates can because I have that arm shield. Um, so I'm just telling uh, Blastoise to go ahead and just trap up this entire area on our side so we're completely protected. Um very unfortunate on that one actually but i told him just to go and contest i'm gonna go ahead and res and it's a smart thing to do is get healthy immediately we have gas there there's no reason to extend that far like he just did um both of them actually when they both got knocked it's not good to extend that far if you don't have cover right away if you if you find yourself in a spot where you're going to get shot and you can't really run away in time it's not a good spot to be in you want to be right next to cover while you're shooting um, but I just went ahead and made a decision of I'm just gonna go in res since he's shot uh, since shocks the AK prolix is fighting uh, The trap is right there. So I don't expect someone to push in through the trap. So I knew I can get that full res off And as Gibby you want to get those reses uh, you're faster with resing uh, You can kind of time manage of if they're gonna push you you have enough time to get off Yeah, and I told him to get inside and come over here. I don't want them going over there. It's just no point. Because uh, you can get down, thirst it, and now we're stuck with just two players. Um, and this cannot happen. So you have to be kind of strict on where you tell your teammates to go. Um, don't be, you know, rude about it. Uh, just got to be kind of strict with it. Um, and I, I, I try to make it clear as possible that, you know, we need to stay right here. It is this area is just going to be huge for us to have again because we also we have it trapped up so no one can really push us um and that door upstairs if uh call six traps right on the door it sometimes it'll mess up and it won't close all the way Uh, right there, it was a simple. Uh, I didn't feel like I wasted that arc star. It was so Blastoise has a nice shot on him with the crossbow. They try to peek. Always say crossbows to the bow check. Right now they're just wasting their nades, uh, which is very awkward. 
I don't think you should waste nades in these buildings unless they're meant for something like my nade on the door. Perfect nade. Uh, them just throwing nades that they can't really push off of, there's really no point. All they're doing is cutting off with a thermite, which is a little awkward on that team's part. Very awkward. Why don't you come up here and just focus with your door? Just fucking fix that trap, man. I don't Bro, know it's, not, it's not the trap, it's because... Oh. The door. I've already fixed it twice. Uh, right there. It's just simply, again, it's one of those things that you really can't peek a Gibby. Um, so I'm going to contest that all day. I have a lot of cells. So it's good to contest that. Get their shields down. Uh, let them know you're an absolute Beamerson. Um, and again, it's just a slow game. But we have this entire area. They finally connect it with a, a nade. But we have so many traps, they really can't push like they want to. Um, and you got to take advantage of that, especially if you have a caustic on your team. Um, right now... I just looked at the mini map, and as you guys can see, we're not in circle. The other end is circle, and I want to take advantage of that. I want to be able to push it. Got Gibby really low. Gibby one shot right there. I made the call out. Gibby one shot, and I just back up because if Thermite, uh, if there's a guy on top of the roof. I can't overextend. It's not going to be good to overextend because, again, we're going to lose our spot, and it's good just to play safe. And I said, we got to secure this other side right now. And I just start running because I, I made that call out. And teammates got to be there. Pathfinder got caught off guard. Broken. I got Pathfinder low. And it's just that you catch him off guard. You have to act quick and you have to listen right away. Uh, make plays off it. Hit another one for 109. This is a good opportunity to push. And I, I can't, we can't push until we get our call sick. And we have to be strict about that. You can't get a little risky. You have to make sure your whole team's there. I missed a melee on Forge. Finally connected. Just blasting everybody. And right now, I'm just stalling, waiting for Mikey to help me out. And he helped out immediately. All three down. We have Caustic Traps. Uh, people are spamming nades. We have Shield Swaps. Uh, we're absolutely vibing. And I also have Gold Bag. Of course, Gibby should have Gold Bag at all times. Um, but just good all-around fight right there. We attacked fast. Caught him off guard. Uh, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and alt because the team's trying to push us inside. Um, I play a little risky. Uh, knocked Bloodhound. Another shield swap went out. Uh, and I want to make sure that they cannot get that res off. Uh, it's very important for us to get this team out the way before we get greeted by another team. Um, two no rags, as you guys heard. A little tank and a tank. Very unfortunate. I got knocked for it. Uh, and I make the call out that uh, Prolux needs to stay alive. Uh, even though he has more health, I do not want him playing extra risky at all just because he has the most health. He needs to stay safe uh, it, just in case they do push. So that's why he stays behind my knockdown the entire time. Um, he's able to get a stick because, again, we have that caustic trap going on. All the gas, they cannot push. Um, again, very unfortunate that I couldn't connect with my massive shots again you guys could hear the tank in a tank it's just two no regs in a row on two guys crouching right in front of me uh there's nothing you can really do about that it's just the game um so right here we're fully reset we have all the loot in the world uh alternator i go ahead and tell blastoise to get rid of his uh bow check bow check is going to be pointless late game uh so he goes ahead and he changes the alternator changes to an alternator i mean uh now we're fully set i'm going to be close to getting alt that's why i use that alt excel um, that guy has a nasty head peek, and as soon as one of my teammates peeks out again, I tell him just don't peek those guys anymore. There's no point. Um, and back to the first team when we first pushed inside this building, uh, the reason why I kept meleeing and why I stalled when I had uh, no shields, uh, I was just waiting for Blastoise to come help me out with that horizon, uh, and he came at the right time. I was able to melee her out, stun her, uh, pulled her backwards, and it was just a good all-around play. And right here, I just say, let's take it. I see, I see them push up too far. Uh, and I know we have Caustic. We can take advantage of this right away, and we have to act fast. Uh, I see it's a Caustic. I already hit him hard. I'm going to bubble, hit him really hard, and stay on this end of the gas. I blocked off all three gas traps just with my bubble. Um, just because I know I'll have to have Caustic, I'm going to do as much damage as I possibly can as I'm going past. Uh, and right here, I just play safe. I go back, reload real quick. Come back to shooting, and now we control this building. And that happens so fast, but you have to react really fast in these lobbies. Uh, right here, you have to protect your teammates. I saw he was low. I took the opportunity. I held the off angle, 
and now he's completely safe and that's why i'm just pre-firing uh they can't do anything about it i move forward i go ahead and waste alt right here just because i know we need to get full healthy uh we all need to shield up and we just knock somebody on their team so they cannot get rezzed uh because they get res it's just more problems that we're going to have so i peek out add more health i know i can go out there and thirst and get back in before i get knocked ganks you got to abuse that health system that they have um especially with how much health gibby has um, but back to that caustic when we first pushed in he had three traps down i was able to do damage as i was sliding out on the other end of my bubble again the reason why i didn't want to like stay in there is because i'll get slowed if i get beamed it, it's pretty much ggs from there but i know i have a caustic that can finish that fight up uh, and i just relied on that um so now we're just again we're looting up staying healthy making sure we have all the ammo in the world uh and now we have one of the best positions right now uh we, we're in safe and building we don't have to worry about uh people shooting us from outside uh because we're just completely safe uh, we just got to make sure that we people know that we're holding this uh building down and this is why it's so good to have a caustic uh especially in world's edge uh i didn't know i hit him for 64 i actually hit him for 94 right there i caught out 64 but again, we're just poking, making sure they can't get uh, positions on other teams. Uh, we're just annoying everybody, making sure we grief other teams. So right here, I uh, I tell Blast Voices to keep throwing traps out that window and keep breaking them. Uh, because it it damages people, it forces them not to peek that window. And that window can be crucial because uh, one of us can get knocked. Uh, and I just keep holding that angle. Ray try to peek. I shot a little bit and backed up immediately. Uh, I have that arm shield, but I don't want to get that broken or them hit me a lot. Uh, that's why I backed up right away. I'm playing extremely safe, and I'm making sure I'm holding my angle and making sure my teammates are holding their angle. Uh, Prolux is the opposite door, and Blastoise, it, his goal is just to secure the whole perimeter uh, as caustic. I told him to get back in here. Uh, it's just... It's not safe to go out all the way, especially like that. I know he's caustic. Uh, that's why I told him to get back in here. Make sure he bats up. Make sure he's safe. Because um, wrong, wrong, one wrong move, it just could be game over. And, but you have to capitalize if that's, if a wrong move does happen. Uh, I just keep beaming. I scoop for a little bit just in case the thermite. I realize the thermite is too far away. And I just keep holding my angle. Uh, I'm making sure they cannot push this door whatsoever. Because they do have a caustic. They can bully their way in here. And I'm making sure that cannot happen. Uh, Blastoise peeks out again. Gets... I told him, I, when you get in here, I need you alive. I'm able to beam the uh, caustic. And I tell him the res. I'm just holding all the positions. Making sure they can't push. That's why, again, I'm pre-firing. Making sure they cannot hit for 48 and i'm just playing safe at this point making sure my massive's out uh now i know it's safe to go ahead and bat prolix is watching over us and that was a simple cost by a uh, blast was for a second uh, he overextended i tried to help him out he got called for but we're able to capitalize because i told him to get back in the building and it's it it huge right here i told him to go out because it's best to go out this way um now this is where i'm going to pause it uh for once in these thought process videos uh, I feel like this is really good. So if we want to, if we would have run out the front door, we have the teams outside that are on the ground, and we have the team that's high ground because there's a team currently on our roof. If we go out that front door, that is extremely predictable, and we're just going to get beamed by both teams. So since we have a heat shield, we can make a play to go out this door and absolutely capitalize on that. Uh, I just want to just clarify: it's it's okay to go the the. The awkward route which was this way through the storm a little risky but we have heat shields and it simply outplays the other teams because they're expecting us to go through this front door since this one's closed off and it's it's a, such an outsmart play and it's huge and i said right now because those did not last very long i crouched a little bit uh we get this guy out the way i get bubble back and my bubble position right here is huge so i bubble because i know when i climb up I have this full high ground. I have this full high ground just from that one bubble. And I knew that when I placed it down, because the tip of the bubble, you're going to be able to crouch in that. And that's what we do. And my immediate thought right here was to punch one of them off down into the gas where Blastoise is. Um, again, I'm just going to rewind. There's gas. He's, he's, he's caustic. He's going to have traps. He has his alt down. I bubble, go up. I immediately melee somebody off. Melee the Wraith off. Melee, Wraith cannot do anything. 
Now we just focus Gibraltar because I knocked him all the way in the storm. And now it's just simply us killing the Valk because Blastoise carried the uh or took care of the Wraith. And we just bullied the uh the Valk right there at the end. So huge, huge end game, huge play with the bubble, a huge bubble melee. Melee the Wraith off. She could not do anything about it. She got put down the Blastoise, a caustic, and gas. It's hard to fight that in 1v1. He had a fair 1v1 against that. I immediately focused the Gibby, knocked Gibby all the way in a storm towards where Prolix was and all the way out of the bubble. Now he's unprotected. He's getting ticked by storm and he's getting blasted. Um, and then the Valk just tried to hide inside the the bubble. I melee her, Prolix melee her, uh, and we just absolutely dominated that last uh that last end zone right there. So to end it, I had nine kills, five assists, three thousand damage. That is a good solid Gibby play. Uh, Gibby game in general. Uh, it was it showed good leadership uh, for Gibby and how you can really dominate and lead your team as a Gibraltar and stay in front the entire time. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I normally never pause and go back, but I feel like that was really worth it um, because it was a it was a huge end game. Um, I'm gonna play it one more time of how it went down because it was just honestly beautiful. It was it was scrumptious. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and just honestly just just much love i uh, appreciate you guys watching this series of thought processes um they're really fun to do go over and I, i'm glad they really help you guys and i cannot wait to do these for season 12 uh because we got olympus baby and i'm excited i'll be running with blast toys and poppy gordo aka mikey and hector and we're gonna vibe out have fun uh and i can't wait to show you guys uh some new gameplay new legend coming through and it's gonna be fun so appreciate you guys much love see you guys in season 12 for future thought process videos on olympus laters